lot of people think rock and roll is a glamorous world. But here we are at the side of the road at 4, 5.25 in the a.m. While Matthew tries to rig up a MacGyver water hose situation. Some air hose fittings. With air hose fittings on the radiator of the big squishy. Where do we supply the water from, Jamie? Well, we got bottled waters here. We emptied out both coolers of their melted ice. And Anthony got up there and took a whiz.
could have been could have been anywhere without the music. Just a great group of guys to be with. We go places. It's it's always a new experience. We play the same place two nights in a row. The next night's totally different. So now I didn't have any idea what what we would be getting into, but I've enjoyed every bit. Probably the high point for me on being at the Roosters is uh, probably the the music aspect of it. When everything starts clicking just right and the band's is, is sounding good, it's just, it just doesn't matter what the crowd's doing at that time, there's just not a better feel. So the album's called Cocked. Uh, obviously we're the Roosters band, so we were looking for something uh, title-wise that was a little bit cocky, uh, a little bit aggressive. Uh, we feel that, you know, while our first album back in 2006 was a really good effort that we're proud of, we wanted to say something a little different with this one. We wanted to up the aggressiveness, up the anger just a little bit, uh, and, you know, uh, see how that hit people. Uh, so that's what we went for on this album. Um, one of the things we looked at when we started working on this album was um, trying to have songs that maybe hit a little harder uh, a little deeper and uh, maybe provoke some more thought, provoke some more emotion because I think that's what people relate to with music is thought provoking, emotion provoking music and I think that's what sticks in people's minds. Uh, it kind of developed into not just the lyrics, but 
I'm a big uh, fan of the horror genre, and I went to a uh, I went to a horror convention, and when I was there, one of my all-time favorite movies, which is Night of the Living Dead was being represented by Charles Craig, who is the announcer on the original movie from the late 60s. And I approached him, we had a great conversation, and told him about what I did, and I told him about the song we were writing, and I asked if he'd be willing to do a voiceover for us. And he just looked at me and said, sure, I'd be glad to do that. So I went home, picked up my little portable recording studio, had a uh, Shure 58 microphone, set him up right there, and he was glad to do uh, some of the things. Of course, I asked Jamie to coach me on what he should say, and he was very, very, uh, Agreeable to add some lines about the roosters and the barroom zombies, and now you have the song. The rest is history. We know it's tempting, but it won't work today. As we close the line down on the Rockstar Buffet, we're like it or not. Get ready for good shit.